Devon Kathy Hochul passionately declares her unwavering faith in Joe Biden's abilities. During her speech, highlighting the unity needed to stand against former President Donald Trump. Thank you. Representing states like New York and all across America, we came together tonight to listen to President Biden say, tell us in his own words what his plans were. I'm here to tell you today, President Joe Biden is in it to win it. And all of us said we pledged our support to him because the stakes could not be higher. On the eve of the 4th of July celebration, we talk about how we transition under a monarchy and a tyranny that our founding fathers fought against, that we risk right now descending back into that very same place. We will stand with the president as we fight that force, that force being Donald Trump. And together, we'll make sure that Americans know not just what Joe Biden did for all of us, and the list of what he did for my state of New York is extraordinarily long, but where he's going for the future and where he's going to take this country. We feel very confident in his abilities. We talked about the plan and how he's going to be very focused on issues that matter to Americans. And I felt very confident coming out of this meeting as well. However, the foundation of Hochul's confidence in Biden's competence is met with skepticism, especially considering the myriad criticisms surrounding his handling of pivotal issues like the economy, foreign policy, and national security. Hochul's remarks appear to lack substantial evidence, suggesting that party loyalty may overshadow objective evaluation. The public scrutiny of Biden's recent public appearances and policy decisions casts a shadow over Hochul's endorsement as they weigh his perceived weaknesses against her trust. Hochul's call for unity against Trump is perceived as a strategic maneuver to galvanize Democratic supporters, framing the election as a clash against a common adversary. This tactic is seen by some as a diversion from Biden's own track record and the administration's shortcomings. Additionally, the historical comparisons to dictatorship and monarchy are viewed as hyperbolic, aimed at stoking fear rather than offering a rational assessment of Biden's capabilities. By questioning the administration's effectiveness on critical issues like inflation, border security, and public safety, Hochul's argument that Biden will prioritize American concerns is challenged. Biden's agenda appears misaligned with the priorities of many Americans, and his policies have contributed to societal division and economic difficulties.